We have employed apprentices from nearly when we started the business. I joined in 1972 and I've worked with apprentices all that time. The benefits I find are that when you bring an apprentice in, they, um, you teach them your way of working. So they're not coming in and saying to you, oh, my last place does this and my other place did that. You start them the way you want them, then they go on for further training. And uh, before long, you have a loyal and trustworthy staff that stay with you if everything goes well. When I work here in Brown Days, I'm a vehicle technician. Every day is different in this job. Everyone's like, oh, you're a woman going on to a man's job. Like, they're just they're not going to take you on and you're just going to push in the corner. But they really weren't. They were so brilliant. Third year in school, I, you do your work experience for a week. I am done and done Ford and Desmond's and Derry. I've done mechanic for a full week and I remember finishing that and I was like, I'm not going back to school. I'm a mechanic. And literally just finished my GCSEs. Came up here and asked for a job and I started on here in August. And that was five years ago. It always was something I wanted to do. I uh, love cars. I remember getting my first pay packet and looking at it and thinking, no, this wasn't for me. This must be just one of the other boys pay. No way I'm getting this much money. <laughs> Saved them all up and bought my first car. And it broke down every weekend, so it was brilliant because I was able to fix it myself. And the likes of a mechanic, and you can't learn it by looking at books. It'll help so much, but you, you physically can't. What I just look for is somebody that really wants to get on, wants to work. And if you get that type of person, it doesn't matter what gender they are, what size they are, a willingness to work is all that matters.